It was all smiles from Pedro Sanchez at his polling station in Madrid. The leader of the Pessoa Socialist Party is someone who's never won a parliamentary majority. He spent the last few days urging everyone to vote while warning of the dangers of right-wing agendas. Just hours earlier, as a final reminder of a divisive issue he's failed to solve, there was more tension on the streets of Barcelona between police and protesters. The push for Catalan independence and the rise of the far right have dominated this election. It was a delighted Santiago Abascal, the leader of the far-right Vox Party, who greeted his supporters. Buenas noches y viva España! Yeah. Earlier this year, they were a loud regional right-wing voice and no more. Within two elections, they've gone from having no seats to over 50. They are the third largest party. We have told the left that the story was not finished. They do not have moral superiority. We have the same right as them to defend our ideas without being insulted and stigmatized. On the country, this means that uh, uh, the way of doing politics will, will become more confrontational. They will possibly try to block many laws. So they have a very powerful means of arriving to the uh, mass media. Buenas noches. It was not unexpected that Pedro Sanchez and his Pesere party did the best, despite falling a long way short of the number of seats needed to establish a socialist government. He says, as the biggest party, it's business as usual. Our plan is to continue to win elections. Our political projection is to form an established government and create policies that benefit the majority of Spanish people. That may be alongside Pablo Iglesias of the Unidas Podemos party. He said he was ready to start talking with Sanchez as soon as possible. And even together, their two parties don't have enough seats for an outright parliamentary majority. With a faltering economy and the second highest unemployment rate in the European Union, this is no time really for political uncertainty. But that's what we have in Spain, because no party has been given a clear mandate to govern. And so the horse trading now begins to try and establish a working coalition to take this country forward. And we've been here before. Francis Collings, TRT World in Madrid, Spain.